Let me go to Terry. Terry Corn is from Texas. Hey, Terry. Yes. Yes, sir. I have a very general question for you, but Brock, okay. Uh, okay. I want your opinion on our national debt, and is there a realistic mathematical way out? And I'll I'll hang up and and uh, let you answer that. Okay, great. Uh, our national, <laughs> well, uh, yeah, there is, Terry. Uh, I believe there is, and I, the reason I believe there is a way out is because I believe in a free market economy. There is no way out if we don't have robust job growth and a robust economy, not a market, not a stock market. I'm talking about the economy. Then there is no way out because we're, we're far exceeding our spending ability. We do not, will not, cannot have the revenues needed to support the kind of spending we're doing. So, uh, the only way that we begin to, uh, start impacting our national debt in a real positive way is going to be through growth of our GDP growth in America. All the growth that we've seen today has been uh, uh, this year uh, and the years have, are smoke and mirrors in the economy. And it doesn't matter how much growth you have if you spend more than your growth, which is what we've been doing for years. So we've got to, we, we cannot get out of this. We cannot get out of this without an attitude of a smaller government, a more efficient government, a smaller government, less government, less expense, less government involvement. Forget it. We're not, if we're not going to do that, we're never going to get out of it. So that's got to be first and foremost. We have to have that. Then, and, and of course, that's going to usher in uh, lower spending. So we've got to remove the government element in it. When we do that, we and and we create that in and of itself is going to pick up the other side and grow the economy GDP and start creating incentives for and incentivizing corporate America to bring some of the three trillion dollars that they have on the sidelines back into the economy. And I think we can get out of this now. We also can't do it without True entitlement programs, Social Security being the easiest thing to fix, but we've got to look at all the entitlement programs because our unfunded liability is getting close to a hundred trillion dollars, and we've got to handle that. But it's not, ma- but from you said mathematically, mathematically we can do it. I believe that when is the question is when will the point of no return happen? We're nearing it. Could happen soon. Think about this. Interest rates on our debt gets anywhere near normalized. We go from, pay, we're paying about $335 billion a year just on interest on our debt. If that interest rate goes up, that turns to a trillion dollars, a trillion dollars of interest, adding to our $17 trillion every year just to service our debt. We're, I mean, when that happens uh, and we continue to spend the way we are, we continue to expand government, um, the next step, the next way out of it is a depression. And a depression is going to create a reset. A, cre- a, a depression is going to get things back where they need to be. A depression is going to reduce the size of government out of sheer necessity. And there are some that believe, and I'm very, very quickly coming into this camp. There are some men.